E-commerce has many advantages for the consumer, but when it comes to fashion, buying without trying can be a bit of a gamble, costing online retailers £20 billion a year. Fashion tech firm Metail has a solution with its virtual fitting rooms. We sent Vanessa Cutterford to try out the future of online shopping. How can you be sure that the size that fits you in one store will fit in another? There's no industry-wide standard sizing for women. The only way to know if something fits and suits is to try it on. That's especially difficult when you're shopping online. Tom Adiula is solving the problem through his fashion tech company, Metail. His team have created a unique way to try on clothes virtually. We're aiming to improve the whole efficiency of the clothing supply chain by putting the consumer at its heart. What that means for the consumer is allowing them to try on clothes to see how they will fit through creating a 3D version of themselves. And for retailers, what that means is generating size and shape data for their customers for the first time ever to enable them to both target the right customers and also make the right clothes for the customers, which will have huge efficiency gains for everything that they do. And this is how it works. By putting in just a few bits of data, height, weight and bra size, you can get an accurate me model figure. You then choose the head of the model which most closely resembles yours and the shopping can begin. The Mi model has up to 96% accuracy when it comes to fitting. It allows customers to try on and style clothes on their virtual body and see them in 360 degrees. This technology is advanced. It took some of the brightest minds in the business three years to develop. Metail's R&D team boasts 13 PhDs between them. The system they've developed makes it quick and easy for retailers to photograph the clothes they want to showcase on the Mi model. These rigs can be set up anywhere. The digitisation process can be taught in just a few hours. There's an awful lot of um, technology underneath the surface. I sometimes talk about our tech like a swan. There's an awful lot of work going on that nobody sees. We're the only people who've been able to bring the R&D together across the range of body modelling and garment modelling, make it quick enough to create a, a me model, to create a personalised model, make it fast and cheap enough to digitise clothes and bring them together and actually get them in front of consumers. The Asian market has been quick to take up Metail's technology. One of India's biggest online retailers, Aboff, has even discovered something unexpected. The data that we've supplied to Aboff has helped them determine that geographically within India, there are very different body shapes from area to area. And this is something that they're going to incorporate all the way back to their uh, manufacturing bases in order to create clothing that's going to fit those consumers in different geographies much, much better. Independent research by Kellogg shows that retailers using virtual reality technology see their consumers spend up to 22% more. Those customers also spend three and a half times longer on the retailer's websites and there's a 5% reduction in returns. Increased buyer confidence means customers are also likely to buy more expensive products. The high-end fashion designer Henry Holland sees the advantage of that. He took the innovative step of using Metail technology alongside a live stream of his catwalk fashion show. Customers could virtually try on clothes the moment they saw them on the runway and then pre-order them. One of the big questions facing the industry at the moment really is um, how we better service the consumer and how we close that gap between collections being showcased on the catwalk and then having to wait six months before they're delivered into the store. And you know, there's a lot of talk about see now, buy now and whether that's the way forward. And I think the, the tool that we created with Metel, um, it closed that gap somewhat. Innovation is at the heart of what Tom and his team do. Soon shoppers will be able to put their own faces on the Mi model and there'll be a male version. These virtual 3D figures are translating into better figures for retailers and they're changing the way we shop.